How's everyone doing today? Welcome back. Another day. Another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. So we're going to go on over to Mr. U over here. Not sure who U is. Ulysses, maybe? Let's see. Uncle. Hey! <laughs> Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. <sighs> the hell is this old guy? Old man in town. Take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take mm -hmm. them a rob, and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Sure, you'll see. Real civilized. <laughs> Let's go. All right. You know the way? Yeah. I can. I'm gonna get my uh, thing off the map. Oh, come on, back, 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 back. Motherfucker, I mm, put a. There we go. A little bit of a fight at the saloon there. <laughs> Already? Ooh, so all that talk about how hard you've been working. You mean drinking? <laughs> Uncle, don't make me slap you. Uh, ladies, sing us a song. back from over there, could you? I'd really appreciate the help. I I'm worried this one here will bolt on me too if I leave him. Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Come here now. Come come on. You can do it, Arthur. Come on before uh... Whoa, easy. <laughs> You're okay. Watch it doesn't bolt. Easy there. Horse training. I mean, if you, if you think about it, horses are crazy, man. An animal that over, you know, thousands of years, we managed to domesticate them, but let us just ride them around. And they're fine with just being hooked up to carriages and being like, yep, I'm working. Like, it's, it's weird to think about, you know, when you think about, like, all that a horse does and all that, you know. 
Like, imagine trying to get a cat to work like a horse. Cat would be like, you best go fuck yourself. But a horse? Yeah. There you go. You're get him to do it. Sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Oh, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I would have. <laughs> Or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Go left here, down the main street. I just hope. There's always on the right. Sure, you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid Ooh. you put your head on the line. I can pick up bounties. Okay. I might actually pay off my bounty so I can go hunt some. Some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Bounty hunting sounds like a fun thing to do. Some honest work. But don't make me shoot you in the head, old man. Right. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. I imagine Paris and Valentine. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to ask why. <laughs> you are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> but I know you love me. Oh, man. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Hey, man. So, what do you need? Drop a whiskey for a start. Well, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Yeah. That guy should probably steer clear of the saloon this time. Why don't you pick out a cigar? A cigar always focuses the mind, I find. What are you saying? Well, you seem a little scattered, Arthur. Trust old uncle. Old stock list in the catalog here on the counter. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Wait, ain't you the fella who had the fight with Tommy outside the saloon? Yeah, that all got a little out of hand, but I didn't swing first. <laughs> sure, well, these things happen. And that was some good viewing. Don't reckon folk ever seen Tommy lose a fight before. Well, it's all done now. You not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. What do you reckon? Lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Well, I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. Getting rid of a bunch of stuff Look that I got. A jaw harp. What is this list of yours? I got a lot to replenish after that god-awful time in the mountains. It's all done. Thank you kindly. Ah, this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside.
as I did it. I went into town without robbing or shooting anybody. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in there in New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh boy, here we go. There's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Get your hands off me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me. Get off. Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. Don't try it, old man. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go wait with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Think it was her dad, maybe? It looked like it was somebody she knew. But I'm proud of myself. I pulled my gun on somebody and didn't accidentally shoot him in the face. That's a first. Look after her. I'll go see about Karen in the hotel. Real proud of myself. Did good. Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. Like I said, as far as I know, they're in 2B. Uh oh. Uh oh, we got the music going. No trouble now, please. There we go. friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. Just... Next uh, time. Scrappy bitch. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. Okay There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched uh, me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get! I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. I think this mission might actually, uh... Oh, shit! You stay away from me! Get back here, right now! Where'd he go? 
This might be a good. This mission might teach us how to get rid of people who uh, have seen things they weren't supposed to see. Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? I lost sight of him. There he is. Looks like a bad situation you're in. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. Just pull me up, come on! I mean, this wouldn't kill you. Please! My hands are slipping. I can't... I hold... Shit! Ah! Oh, oh! You lost honor? How is that lost honor? I didn't do nothing. No, Arthur, no! Oh, no, no, Arthur! Oh, no! Oh, my... Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. That... I just wanted to loot. I mean, we made it down. Okay, well, I mean, he's already dead. I don't know why it's giving me more bad boy points. Man, I got fucked up. I actually, I, I mean, to be fair, I did hit square to try and help the guy. I guess I just hit it too late, and he was already slipping. But I don't like that I am dishonorable for not helping, you know? It's not my fault that this dumbass ran off a cliff. I didn't, you know, throw him to his death or anything. Alright, let me see. Let me get this horse back to, back to Valentine, just straight up ahead. I did tell that guy I was just borrowing it. Considering I just lost honor, I might as well try and get some honor back. Theater. I'm gonna come by here at a later time. Hey, my horse. Am I glad to see you? Here's your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. Is this some trouble happening over here? You borrow from the Odrisco boys. You pay what you staring the Odrisco boys. Move along. I made it right. Looks like you need a lesson. <laughs> Odrisco's will see you under. <laughs> Eat this. You're about to meet your sorry fate. <laughs> Keep them coming. Parry. Mm. Mm. Every one of us O'Driscoll's gonna piss on your grave. You're dead. Give up. Take back my hat. You might have just saved my life, stranger. You're a gentleman. They won't bother you no more. <laughs> if, if only there was more men like you and less of them damn old Driscolls. I'm, I'm, I'm going to see to my ailings. 
Thank you, mister. Really. Now, if I were to loot this O'Driscoll, am I a bad person? Tell you what, part of me wants to pay off the bounty. Knowing that if the bounty's paid off, I can go bounty hunting. You know, what's that? It looks like a skull with money a symbol on it. Bounty hunt. Mm. But the last time I talked to this gentleman, things did not end well. I didn't realize it was the sheriff. And I just walked, I mean, well, y'all remember that episode. I just walked up and tried to say hi, and he went, You're that son of a bitch! And then I had half the town chasing me, so we're gonna have our horse. Not again. Damn that horse. Give me the booty, I want the booty. I really need to, to turn off that real fast here. Even the damn sub alerts open. Try and get my horse. Come on, girl, where you at? Is she all the way at camp? Fuck, she is, isn't she? She's at camp, isn't she? Oh, god damn it. Alright. Well, let's talk to this guy and see if I can bounty hunt in exchange to pay off my bounties. If he says, you're that guy, I'm just going to take off running. It's nighttime. Which is, you know, a good sign. Mm, this might, well, actually, no, hold up a second. I don't have a bounty showing up right now. Think about it. I have a bounty over... Oh, yeah, I definitely have a bounty in town. Let's see what happens. Maybe it's, like, posted bounties. Oh, boy. Well, look at here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. Well, I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Get some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. Worked out pretty well. I, I... And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive. I got it. All right. Now, the only problem here is that all I have is a revolver. Shotgun. I ain't got no horse. So I'm going to need to find a horse to steal. I'm going to do this mission. Unless the snake man has a horse. I'm honestly surprised that when they were like, I guess you're not here to turn yourself in. I was like, well, let's not talk about bounties that I have. <laughs> Look at this. Is, uh, how far up on the gorge is it here? Oh, well, that's not bad. This is just some stamina building. I 
got, got 200 shots. Yeah, I'll be fine. I got a lasso. I got everything I need. I'm assuming this man has a wagon, so I'll turn his ass in and then I'll fence his wagon. So I'm guessing this is a story forced bounty hunt, and then any hunts after this, I'd probably have to pay my bounty first. Gotta be careful. We all know what happens when you fall. Or how deep the water is. Nope, you know what? I'm not even gonna test. Feeling that falling down water in this game don't work out too well for you. Ooh, ooh. No, 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 <laughs> Arthur, you are... Testing the boundaries of luck, my friend. I could get down into the valley over there. I didn't even see that. Good thing I decided to look the other way. I walked right past it. it might be our friend right down there. With a horse. I could probably sell the horse or the carriage, whatever he has. I mean, either way, this is going to work out in my favor. Some real bounty hunting right now. You Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? Huh. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard him. Uh, I heard good things. I'll pay in gold. If you could help me find him. It's just... My mother's real sick. Oh, well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know? A medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. I'm taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. And there's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Come on, partner. That's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This... This is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. Oh, you saved me. Now, come on, buddy. Let's make this easy. What, you're taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, you saved my life. Ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. 
Don't jump! Or what? You can't shoot me, love! Please. I'll take my chance. Come here! Uh, bye, friend! Son of a bitch. There he is. Oh, come on, horse. Oh, this idiot. Nope, nope, I was so busy looking at the radar. Come on, get up, get up, horse, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Man, I really gotta stop doing that. I see him again. I see him, I see him, I see him. to keep the bounty lassoed. Okay. Who made you God, friend? Who made you judge? I'm only in it for the money. That's even worse. Shut up. It does seem that way. First, we'll see what you got on you. So, what do you got? Um, quite nice that you got a horse waiting here for me. So, I'm gonna wrap things up here. I'll make my way on over towards the sheriff uh, before we we turn this dummy on in. Though, I will start up the next episode, but. Not, not a bad horse. Um, considering, you know, the journey we gotta make. Figure it's gonna be um, easy to just do it real fast. So anyway, make sure to stay tuned though. We will catch you guys a little bit later today with more Red Dead.